Well, Michelle Branch stormed onto Music Center stage at the age of 18 with her debut album, The Spirit Room. That was back in 2001, and she hasn't had a lot of time to breathe since then. Her second effort, Hotel Paper, arrived in June. Michelle, nice to see you. Good morning. Nice to see you. Sure. So, with all the attention being paid to you over the past two or three years, when you hear that you just received another Grammy nomination, is it just, oh, the, the Grammys, blah, blah, or is it a big deal? You know, it was something that I, I grew up watching and sat, you know, it was late nights, and I'd, I'd tell my mom and dad, one day I want to be there. And so it's still, it's extremely flattering to just have recognition for, for working so hard, I guess. You're just finishing a tour that was your first headlining tour. Yeah. What was that like for you? What was the experience like? It was a lot of fun. You know, I was on tour with um, the Dixie Chicks and Cheryl Crow, and I, I had so much fun going out with them, but uh, it, it was pretty nice headlining. Because when, you, when you're a warm-up singer you get out there and you realize that the people are in the seats probably for something else someone else i was i was really nervous that no one was going to show up actually tell me a little bit about uh the tour because i know you weren't feeling well for part of yeah, it and, and you so actually can't yeah yeah she has so a cold kidding. here this morning but you had to cancel a couple of dates which yeah, has to be disappointing it is it's you know it's funny because everyone kind of always expects you to to be there and do this and do that but they don't realize you're on airplanes and you're you know you have to deal with cold and flu season just like everyone else so it just kind of puts a damper in it i guess i know you like to write your songs but how much do you pay attention to or how much do you like the marketing side of what's present in the music industry right now. It's very important for young artists in particular to get a certain kind of image out there. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very aware that, you know, um, that it is a part of what I do, and it is a business, and, and I'm, I'm the first to, to admit that, and I know it's coming yeah. next. <laughs> well, I was just going to show the cover of Maxim Magazine. But I do. Because I do like it's a little revealing here. <laughs> just um, a little. Is that just part of what you have to do these days to, to reach a certain audience? You know what, a lot of people, especially my dad, really, really wanted to hope that, that someone kind of twisted my arm and made me do it. But I was, I was really looking forward to, to doing it. I was, first of all, flattered that they even asked me to be a part of it, because um, I always look at it and go, God, she looks great. But um, I, I really thought it was another side of me that, that no one's really seen. And it's, you know, I, I don't do that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Quite literally <laughs> speaking, another side of you that no one's really seen. I'm going to use that as a segue to get the heck out of here, Michelle, all right? You're going to sing River? You, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Michelle Branch.
It's coming on Christmas They're cutting down trees They're putting up reindeer And singing songs of joy and peace So I wish I had a river I could skate away on Michelle Branch, and she's back with another song in a little while. Michelle, thanks. Happy holidays Thank to you. you. We're back in a moment. Yeah. This is Today on NBC. NBC.